So, this is hopefully the last update, or it's probably the last update before uh, 3.20 leak launch. Um, this is going to be regarding my, um, my specific version of a poison seismic separator. Patch notes are out, um, they are doom and gloom. Um, overall, TLDRs, we are fine, we are good. POB is already updated. You can check it um, in the actual guide video. I'm going to link to the to the main guide. That's the only place where I keep the POB always updated. There's a change log. Um, it's regarding um, this thing right here. There's a ton of changes we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about some frequently asked questions, um, something regarding the patch notes. Um, but the very first, because people like it, I'm going to show you some gameplay in case you have not seen the um, the initial guide and I also wanted to address something right away regarding curses because people are worried about curses now and aren't they are worried about uh, code trap now things so um, not a hugely dangerous map nothing nothing crazy nothing easy so in general how does it look we run around as a poison trapping dude and we throw like traps exsanguinate and then stuff dies and it's kind of smooth and we don't really die you can get some poison dudes. No, we cannot. Perfect. There we go. Let's find an essence maybe. There's an essence. We throw our seismic traps. Activate our buffs. Stand more or less on everything. Oh no, bleed. And it kind of dies. So that's general how the build looks. So regarding curses. I'm going to talk about it more in a second. I have a curse on head ring, right? We're just not gonna have a curse. So no matter what happens to curse, we're just gonna not have a curse. And also, we're just not gonna have Kota Trapna, because that's another really, really huge, huge concern. What does that mean in terms of offense? So now we have less po chance to poison. We will still get full chance to poison, don't get me wrong. But even in the absolute worst case, we are fine, intermediate. We don't have a curse anymore. And now we have a monster here, very conveniently. We press some buttons and then the monster dies. Kind of okay. Normal clear. People are worried about clearing or, or, or about this problem. It's more about clear actually, but people are worried about but, but even then, if you focus again, you still have these, you know, power up buttons here and stuff. You still can kill stuff. And this is without a curse. Right? So that's just like a like a quick showcase. Some clear here. Can just waddle around. We don't have a curse. We don't have full poison chance. You know? Okay. Cool. I think we're we, we, we're good in that. <laughs> I hope we're good in that. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at the PB. So, huge update to it. Also, first of all. Please do me a favor and actually read the notes in the POV. That would be would be really good. I put a lot of effort in there. There's like a ton of notes regarding pretty much everything. I'm super fine with people asking questions, but it's super helpful if you're on like on on, on the same page. Also, the POB B updates like constantly. I think I've made like eight updates to it already. Um, I put in the newest one. I put the date in, and also there's a change log in the description, so you see when it updated the last time. So you don't need to import it all the time. Um, do me a favor and before you actually start using the build, click on the video, go to the description and get the newest version just in that moment. In between, you don't need to check back all the time. That's totally fine. If there's like an actual major update, I'm going to let you know uh, in the video format, um, which I don't expect before the launch anymore. And also not, not so much after that. It's going to be normal update videos. So you're going to, going to notice there. Um, but if you restarting the build anyway just make sure you get the newest version so you don't miss out on like minor minor changes there's also like a playlist um, with all the, all the all the videos regarding it that probably answer a lot of questions as well and testing and also like huge bsa i, I might be an idiot right <laughs> don't just blindly trust people i might be bad right cool let's get to uh, 3.20 what changed regarding all like manifestos and, and, and everything easy part is we are good this, the whole build itself might actually be better than before. It's still ridiculously strong, um, especially the specific version. It's, it's not like a high-end version, still the same. Um, we're talking about a super comfy, tanky, do pretty much all content, but um, it's not like a rush, super high-end bossing invitations on like the first five hours. It's not an uber, uber boss killer. It's just exactly what it is described in the actual guide. So overall, we're totally fine. Still. Code Trapnel, we still don't have any information where it comes from. 
or if it maybe might be removed. It's not a problem, it's just annoying, right? It's an inconvenience if it's not there because it was an easy solution before. There is a huge node section um, somewhere in phase one. Here's phase one, huge section regarding how to get 100% chance of poison. If you don't have it really early on, maybe in yellow maps, you're still struggling with it a bit. It's not a big problem. You, you can still clear content. You can farm enough currency to fix, fix that issue. Okay, that's fine. So quarter trap, not an issue. Helix leveling actually got gutted. I didn't even think about that, to be fair. I didn't even think they could nerf a leveling skill because in my mind, this is purely a leveling skill. Obviously, the nerf is regarding the end game version. So yeah, they got gutted, which is annoying, but fair enough. Um, that means I would not recommend you going for Helix, right? So um, you could... And it might be okay, but it might also be terrible. Um, but, um, so and we talk about a bit, a bit about the alternative later, but what, what it will be for me, what I recommend is Storm Blast Mines into Elemental Traps. It's like a proven concept. Not amazing, but it's super decent. You're going to get through the campaign. It's going to be perfectly fine, I think. And that's like a, a version I know. Also, apparently a bug got fixed that does a weird note here. This one, I think it's this one. Poison Inflict Deal damage 20% faster was actually making you deal less damage for some reason because there was a bug and now it's fixed so it should be like the less stuff is gone and actually works as more damage or actually as faster so it might make actually the build overall better is that possible who knows so we might be might actually be better also curses we just talked about don't worry about curses so much okay cool in more detail um, if you're interested in that. Uh, I got this section as well, but I'm going to talk over it a bit if you care. Um, yes, Spectre here got, got nerfed. Use something else. Um, there's some alternative level things here. You can use whatever you want. What I recommend and update it is, if you look at this, um, is here the, the trap leveling, right? Healer trap leveling, full trees. Um, you can look over them. So we basically have full uh, living trees. Uh, swapping to traps, like getting from this mess <laughs> to to this one here, that's going to cost a lot of regrets, right? So, which is okay, right? Um, and why is this okay? You need, I believe, 11 more regrets than you get from the campaign. Something along those lines. It's, it's not that bad, actually. Um, and the good part is if you swap away from this, right? Get rid of these elemental things here first. Spec into this. Get rid of this elemental stuff here. You can leave these nodes up for a while. Actually, this inter intelligence is going to help you. These nodes are not... That's trap throwing speed, right? Trigger effect. That's perfectly fine. It's actually going to help you a bit. Um, it's not like they are wasted. Yeah? And same with these. These nodes are, are useful. So you can just roll with them. And whenever you find regrets, obviously what, what, what you don't spec into then, uh, let's go for the trap swap. Usually on trap swap, you go, go already quite deep in, 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 into this area here, right? You just cut some of that out and leave it in these here, in, in these nodes here. And whenever you get regrets, you move the points towards, towards the actual tree where you want to be, you know, like step by step. Um, there's no there's no issue with that. It's just a bit later, right? You can also go and talk to um, some currency trading bots, but I really don't want to want you to do that. Actually, that's like really tilting. Um, so, yeah, don't worry too much about this huge swap and, and things. Just leave some of the trap nodes in. Get rid of the Ella stuff first, and you have enough regrets for that if you did your campaign correctly. And we are good on that. Same with skills. Um, there's like a whole uh, elemental trap leveling thing here. Also, this trap swap, again, is the same as this one here, just for convenience. And an item sets. I mean, there's also an item set in there, but it's, it's, it's like get wands, upgrade them, and maybe wander lust if you're late to the party. Um, that, that didn't really, really change. Um, same thing on uh, trap swapping here. I left in the code to trap nulls. We don't know, right? If they are available, get two of them. It's it's such an easy way. If not, go back to the notes and um, check check out what to do. That's basically the the next part. We're going to talk about in a second. But yeah, um, also the the entire thing for Spectral Helix. If you still want to go for it, which I wouldn't recommend, um, it's still in. So POB has two leveling sections now. Just use the correct ones. Um, can you level with something else? 
can also check on here. You can level however you want. Um, I think probably popular would be like poisonous concussion, like the throwing flask thing. Um, some kind of other, other trap, like explosive, uh, explosive trap might be cool. Fire trap got nerfed, I think, last league already, so maybe, maybe not. You can even stick to splitting steel if you really want that. Just make sure you don't need a ton of regrets because it leaks that you're really trolling yourself. Um, just getting 40 regrets or something extra on, on leak start, even 30 is like really painful, especially if the nodes you want to get rid of are not useful in any way to you. So it's, it's like, think about your extra leak stats. You end up with a few chaos orbs. You, you don't want to run maps forever to buy regrets. That's like really bad. I would rather than, yeah, level in a more painful way. I would rather level with Helix and it being really bad and take, it taking me 10 hours than, uh, than doing that part. Um, Quarter Trap now, talked about it a ton. There's notes down there, um, here, fix it, somehow, so, somehow different. I left it in, I left them in because if they are cheap, if they are available, maybe they are super easy to get with a vendor recipe, farm a specific map boss, I, I don't know, hold on. If they are there, plug two in, just swap them in, so, so, so easy. Again, not required for the build. It's just convenience. So um, that's regarding that. Uh, Cursors got nerfed. I, I just told you. Um, uh, to be honest, maybe they got nerfed actually for clear. But to be fair, for um, for bossing, they should be stronger. They should. Uh, that's what I expect. Or at least the same. Because yeah, the spare itself also got nerfed, possibly. So yeah, it, it's probably a net positive on bossing bit less on clear but we have too much damage for clear already so that's not an issue overall i see as i, as I wrote there i see opportunity and, and not a problem this is completely going to be fine and you just saw how it looks like even if you don't have a curse um will we use temporal chains instead of despair i have no idea actually we need to test those so it might be cool to use temporal chains um important thing for me is if you test it yourself and you want to invest into a ring make sure you get level one versions of the curse just buy a new one each and test with the level one version which one you like more because the ring will apply a level one version of it without any increased effect now so yeah make sure you're testing the the, the proper level of the, of the skill. Um, same with like going for Whispers of Doom, um, which is conveniently up here, right? There's Whispers of Doom and there's also this Mastery, 20% chance to, to, to poison uh, cursed enemies, which is like, I, I think on the first hit they are not cursed. So this is kind of an intermediate thing. Don't, don't trust this, right? But uh, getting Whispers of Doom and having two curses is kind of interesting, to be fair. Um, so having uh, Despair and and um, to portal chains. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, maybe it's possible you're gonna have a ton of socket pressure. One of them will be uh, a gem and one will be a crescent hit ring. So yeah, needs testing, might be cool. If you can spare the points, if it's actually helpful, if it unlocks new content, just having it doesn't, it is, it's not worth the effort, right? And yeah, last one I've seen a bunch is, is it good in the new league mechanic? I mean, I have no idea. I have not played the new league mechanic, but what I've heard, we will fight quite a lot of bosses or bossy type monsters in, or in general, whenever we fight there, it's going to be in a confined area, right? And from the videos, this, this area doesn't look too big. So you might be able to just cover it with your seismic trap. So, so seismic might be really good in that content, possibly, who knows? Um, it's generally can deal well with bosses with high damage things. So downside might be, um, especially if you have like this crazy empty X like, like I do, this blue one, um, I can see the ground usually. And if a lot of telegraph stuff is gonna be ground effects, that might be pretty bad, right? In general, dealing with, with these ground effects and maybe just not having an empty X or finding an empty X that is very visible, um, then in general, you can move around quite a lot with this build, right? You throw traps and then you just waddle around and wait for stuff to die. That might be really cool. We have shield charge for quick movement. We also have um, um, flame dash. So yeah, need to need, need to see there. And another thing in here also, by the way, with the curses, since self cast will be probably stronger, um, that's, um, that's an opportunity for the bossing setup, 
right, to swap out your car curse on hit ring for an unset ring, which also has maybe more defensive stats, more other, other stats that doesn't need to be cursed on hit, and put your curse into there. That might be a really cool opportunity to really ramp up your boss damage even more by just, you know, manually cursing. And again, boss setup, I mean major, major bosses or, or stuff, whatever you're really struggling with right now. Cool. Um, so yeah, overall, hopefully last update. Check out the playlist and some more major updates might come before um, the, the actual leak launch. Um, if I get the time, then there will be an, another level video. Bit unlikely, but let's see. And um, maybe something regarding how my specific leak start will go, you know, like Atlas passives and what I actually plan to do. Um, if interested in that, then you gotta check back. Um, other than that, I hope you have a really, really good leak launch. Um, I believe this build looks absolutely amazing. I'm super, super, super happy that it overall survived because I, I enjoyed it so much last leak and I really hope um, if you go for it, you enjoy it as well. Let me know how it goes for you. Um, hit me with questions whenever you have some. Bye.